Tuesday, February 11, 2020, the Department of Health and Wellness issued a statement confirming the medical quarantine of a non-national at a public health facility. The individual who arrived in St. Lucia via private yacht from a neighboring territory went for medical care at a health facility on that day. He also had a significant travel history and respiratory symptoms. Our healthcare facility, in keeping with the guidelines, issued the necessary alerts to ensure the protocol was enforced for management. All of the necessary support agencies were engaged as part of the response. Based on the health assessments, the required sample was taken from the patient and has been sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency for testing. The results are expected to be available by the end of the week. A medical team also assessed the other passengers who were on the yacht to ascertain their current health status. We would like to acknowledge the timely response of all of our support agencies. Given the current public health concerns, out of abundance of caution, the requisite protocols have been activated in the management of the current situation. The Department of Health is aware that there is a high level of concern within the St. Lucian population, but we continue to assure the public that measures have been taken to ensure the protection of the health and safety of our medical practitioners, our clients, and the public. A further update shall be provided as details become available. In the interim, the public is asked to continue practicing the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. These include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water is not available. Cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues of, or clothing when coughing or sneezing. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illnesses such as coughing and sneezing. Seek medical attention and share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness during or after travel. The Department of Health and Wellness will keep the public updated as new information becomes available.